in this video we have been given that angle ABD is 30 degree angle ACE is 30 degree and angle DAE is 60 degree and BD is 5 CE is 4 DE is X then we have to find X so interangle ABC it is A B C these two angles are equal that is 30 degree that means AB it will be equal to AC AB it will be equal to AC and suppose this angle is alpha and this angle is beta then this angle it will be 60 degree plus alpha plus beta so 60 degree plus alpha plus beta plus 30 degree plus 30 degree it will be 180 degree and it is 120 degree plus alpha plus beta is 180 degree so we can get alpha plus beta is 60 degree and we have alpha plus beta is 60 degree and now from point A if we make a line at an angle of alpha and from point C if we make a line at an angle of 30 degree suppose this point is P angle PAC is alpha and angle PCA is 30 degree it is our construction then this angle it is alpha plus beta that will be 60 degree and also triangle ABD it will be congruent to triangle ACP because we have angle DAB is equal to angle PAC that is alpha and AB it is equal to AC and angle ABD is equal to angle ACP that is 30 degree so these two triangles are congruent that means BD it will be equal to CP and BD is 5 so CP it will be 5 and also AD it will be equal to AP suppose a if ad is a then ap it will be a and
now if we join pe then triangle dae it will be congruent to triangle pae because we have da is equal to pa that is a and angle dae is equal to angle pae that is 60 degree and ae is common so these two triangles are congruent that means de it will be equal to pe and de is x so pe it will be x and Now, in any triangle ABC, if this angle is theta, BC is A, AC is B, and AB is C, then C square, it is A square plus B square minus 2AB cos theta. And here in triangle PEC it is P E C P E is X P C is 5 and C E is 4 and this angle is 30 plus 30 that will be 60 degree so x square it will be 5 square plus 4 square minus 2 times 5 times 4 times cos 60 degree and x square it is 25 plus 16 minus 2 times 5 times 4 is 40 times cos 60 degree is 1 over 2 and x square it is 41 minus 20 and x square it is 21 so x it will be plus minus root 21 and we know that x is length that should be positive so x will be equal to root 21 so x it is root 21